So we did a study in women looking at the effect of caffeine on hot flashes and menopausal symptoms in general. Um, the study included over 1,800 women, and we looked to see the effect of caffeine on vasomotor symptom, meaning hot flash, night sweat, bother in these women. And we found that in women after menopause, that caffeine intake is associated with more bothersome hot flashes and night sweats. And the interesting thing that we found is in women before the age of, before menopause, that they often have problems with mood and memory and concentration, and that those symptoms got a little bit better with caffeine intake. It's hard to make um, broad sweeping conclusions based on this study as it's a preliminary study and we were not able to determine exactly how much caffeine women were taking in. So is it a cup of coffee or a cup of coffee? Um, so it's hard to make big conclusions. However, we did find that caffeine intake is associated with more bothersome symptoms. So if you're having bothersome menopausal symptoms and you're drinking caffeine, it might be worth considering cutting down a bit to see if that has an effect on your symptoms. Does it mean that you can't have any coffee or tea or beverage of choice? No, of course not. But it just means that your symptoms might be a little bit worse. It's a little harder to know how to interpret the symptoms in premenopausal women about the mood, memory, and cognition. But we know that caffeine has positive effects on being alert and awake. And so that might explain some of the symptoms and how that's a little bit better in those women. So for women who come into our office complaining of menopausal symptoms, we go through a number of lifestyle modifications that they can try before we ever talk about considering hormone therapy. And some of those are avoiding triggers of hot flashes, including caffeine and alcohol and tobacco. Also some warm beverages, spicy foods can also cause more symptoms. And again, it doesn't mean that you can't ever have them. It just means that you might avoid them if you wish to reduce your symptoms. Also, stress management is very important. Um, thing, techniques like acupuncture or massage or meditation or a yoga class or a tai chi class might be helpful. And also dressing in layers, and that includes at night using a fan. So there are also products on the market that can be helpful like wicking sheets and pillows that you can chill to make them cool. Um, also the use of a fan would be helpful. So hormone therapy is still the most effective treatment for management of really bothersome hot flashes and night sweats. And for those women who are newly menopausal and younger in their 50s, this is still probably a very safe option for most people. Um, however, there are some people that shouldn't take hormone therapy and those include um, breast cancer survivors or patients who are at increased risk for breast cancer. Um, but this is an individual decision and it involves talking with your doctor to weigh the risks and benefits in your particular situation. For those women who are unable to take hormone therapy for whatever reason, there are some prescription medications that can be used to manage hot flashes and those include some of the antidepressants or a medication called gabapentin. Um, there are also treatments such as acupuncture, um, that are also used in this situation. So there, there is help available for those women who are unable to use hormone therapy.